This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our program. What's up all you man whores and sluts out there, how you doing today? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, before we get too far into shit, I got a couple of announcements to make. Uh, by the way, hello to all ten of you in the chat. Grosley Adams, yes, I am here, Grosley Adams. <laughs> uh, I got a couple of announcements to make. First off, those of you who follow us on our podcast, uh, we are having problems with it. I am working on fixing it. I know what I have to do, but it's probably going to take me a couple of days to get everything all fixed. So, sorry. <laughs> um, we will get it back up and running again pretty soon. Uh, another announcement I want to make. Uh, we are running a promotion here starting August 4th through August 6th. Uh, everything on our store is 20% off if you use the coupon code 200817. And if you order, I'll rub my penis on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> So if you want to pick up some sexy merch like these t-shirts right here, uh, go to our go to openlyhostileopinions.com, hit the merch link there, and coupon code 200817, as long as you order between the 4th and the 6th of August, you'll get 20% off. And for my last announcement, while well, I still have some fucking breath to do it, <laughs> um, we have decided, after a little discussion, that we wanted to offer something cool for our patrons, all two of you. <laughs> <laughs> Cy, Cy and I, uh, Cricket out there, and uh, and Shane, our two patrons. Uh, we're going to start doing once a month. We're going to start doing an additional episode of the show that's going to be for patrons only. Um, we might do like a Discord channel or some sort of live chat uh, so we can so we can have you guys involved. But can I have one with Jay's tits sweat on it? Yeah, uh, if you want to, man. It's priceless. <laughs> it's better than orphan tears. Damn it. We're, we're, we're working on it, but in any event, we're going to have a special no-holds-bar. We can say any goddamn thing we want to say because we're not going to be uploading it to iTunes. It's going to be po not podcast. Yeah, so if you get offended easily, don't be a Patreon because we plan on going all out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to say the things we are not allowed to say when we are on Yeah, iTunes. the only thing we don't say or shit on here is because iTunes is a fucking piece of shit. So <laughs> you yeah. hear that, iTunes, you fucking commie cunts. <laughs> so we're going to do once a month, we're going to do an additional episode. It's probably going to be the first, you know, Tuesday or whatever. Yeah, we're month. still talking about it. We, we, it's probably not going to be an hour long. Uh, I don't think we, you know, we were talking and we already do an hour long show. So we were thinking something a little shorter, maybe a half an hour or something. But it's going to be completely unedited. Like we said, uh, we don't have to watch our mouths, basically. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to work out how to do it with live chat for you guys, for you patrons. And there's a, maybe we can do it through YouTube live. I, I, I don't know. I can't think of a way to do a, do it for Periscope without inviting everybody so we'll figure we'll figure it out i'll let you guys know just make sure you're uh following us on the twatter yes the we'll, stinky twatter mm. the stinky twatter <laughs> mm. all right so those are my <laughs> announcements for the uh for the day and uh now we can try our very special i i'm not looking forward to this beer this beer just like scares the shit out of me my wife picked this out for us today so uh along with jay's clothes <laughs> uh no she doesn't dress me she would have me dress a lot nicer than i do <laughs> oh periscope you can do private broadcast only those who you want we'll have to look into that That's we'll awesome. look into it thank you thank you i can show you how Great. We sound so stupid. <laughs> it's because we are stupid. You know, the worst part is we're both like nerds and shit. We're, I know. But we just, can't figure this there's shit out. There's so much shit now. There's Periscope. There's Twitch. There's fucking just everything. I, I can't keep up, man. We're can't old. Can't keep up. We're old. Yeah. So anyway, this, uh, my wife picked it out. Take a look at this label. It's Dead Rise Summer Ale from Flying Dog. It's supposed to be Old Bay flavor. Oh, I fucking hate Old Bay. Well, once I, Jay whipped this out of his dick, I mean, you know. <laughs> my whipped, laptop yeah, bag. His man purse. I was just like, oh, Jesus, Old Bay. Ugh. Fuck you. <laughs> it is not a man purse, although I'm not opposed to using one because those things look convenient as hell. It's a man purse. 
Let's hey. not let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Carry the beer <laughs> for a low low price of a horde towel? <laughs> oh, that thing's very close to me. Fuck the alliance for the horde. <laughs> all right, all right. Quit stalling. Drink the beer. Yeah. Cheers. Right. Cheers. I like this a lot. I can't taste the old bay in it, so it's good. Uh, there's definitely some spice on the finish. Yeah, I can't taste it. I can't taste the old bay. I don't eat a lot of old bay, so I don't really understand it. Oh, dude, I I fucking eat dog Maybe. shit with old bay. On. <laughs> Maybe there's a hint of it on there, but I don't really taste it. It's actually very hoppy, don't you think? No, I don't. I don't get much in the way of hop. It's really? very, very pilsnery, very crisp. Uh, I get I get a hop flavor after it. For a summer ale, it's actually it has a lot of taste. I know a lot of summer ales are like crisper. Uh, this is pretty crisp, but it just it has more of a aftertaste than I it, thought. The, the aftertaste of the spice is the old bay. I love the label. I I mean I don't know if can you guys see that clearly? I don't know. The label's pretty badass. I know you got to get close to it because the crab has like this little like grin on his face. Like I just ate your wife's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I would rate this. I I really like it. I would probably drink it again. It's actually it took me by surprise. Um, I'm gonna give it uh, four out of five uh, music rock star nooses. <laughs> yes, I went there. Yes, I went there. <laughs> well, the, the yes, I it's the old Bay label except for uh, except for the old Bay label does not have a crab. Who looks like he just did terrible, terrible things. <laughs> I know. Like, Google the picture. It's actually pretty funny. Like, the, the crab's little face, like, he looks like he's going to, like... He's plotting some shit. Yeah, he's going to, like, anal rape, like, your husband or wife or something like that. Hey, hey Casey, I, I heard a joke today. What's that? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, what what was the last thing Chester Bennington got to say to uh, Chris Cornell? I don't know. Hey, you, you want to go hang around for a while? <laughs> My my friend posted something <laughs> on Facebook and it said new Lincoln Park T-shirts ten dollars a little tight around the neck but they hang well. <laughs> Just like God damn man. <laughs> oh yeah. Well you know there's one thing you can say about Lincoln Park they're definitely willing to stick their necks out for their fans. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You have these written down somewhere. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm oh, just a man. sadistic bastard. It, it's it's hard to it's hard to. Uh, ignore these things because I once I found out he died or whatever like that I got right on Facebook and the fucking memes just started right away <laughs> like I, I think people that create memes or whatever were just sitting here waiting for something like this to happen because it was like yeah he probably is making a of his memes <laughs> but I just I see him everywhere and I'm like Jesus Christ man they can't even wait a day <laughs> well, you know, they, they say that he had a problem with uh, being short, so he was just trying to stretch himself out a little bit. Oh, just kind of went awry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, in, in all seriousness, though, uh, it, it sucks for anybody who loses loses somebody to that sort of shit. I, I could never sit here and claim that I could understand it in the slightest. Yeah. Uh, depression's I, a weird fucking thing. It affects everyone else differently. Well, so. I've never I've never been there. I've never yeah. felt that way. Like, never in my life have I ever gotten to the point where I thought, you know what? That rafter looks pretty good. <laughs> Not I, even when he got married and he rolled over and saw her for the first time. <laughs> I love my wife, thank you. <laughs> I got to get the woman hating in there somewhere. I just, I don't know, people... You're going to die alone. I, oh, yeah, that reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> of course it does. I am going to die alone, and yesterday I almost fucking died. Um, my truck, all right, I have, like, a Dodge Dakota little shit. I think I bought it from some midget in, like, Africa or something. I don't know where I got it. But anyways, my truck... in Africa. <laughs> my truck brakes, the front brakes have been really fucking weird lately. So last night, I'm leaving the bar. Uh, I do a trivia game there all the time. And I'm leaving the fucking bar, and, of course, these fucking deer run out in front of me. So I slam on the little bit of brakes I have left... And stopping that quick with little brake power, my truck just went sideways. Oh, nice. I fucking went sideways. I was going sideways down a highway. Thank God no cars were coming. And I just thought to myself, this is it. I'm dead. I it, Everything slowed down. I looked at all these trees, and I'm like, yep, I'm going to hit them. And I don't know how. Like, maybe my mom, I don't know, f fucked a NASCAR driver to have me. I have no idea how. But I fucking... I don't know, like, fucking did a bunch of shit, and I got it straightened out somehow. When I went sideways, I went all the way to the right, 
and I slid the truck down the highway on the other side. That's how bad I was fishtailing, and I almost fucking died. I have no idea how I got it straightened out, but I did. <laughs> and, and it was so scary because I've never been in a car I've never been in a car accident ever, and I'm definitely afraid of them. Dude, knocking on wood only <laughs> happens when it's actually wood. That shit's made out of... Uh, hey, whatever. <laughs> hey, whatever. Hey. Made out of termite <laughs> spit and tears. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you know, here's a thought. Fucking stop being a cheap prick and go fix your fucking I am going to fix my fucking brakes. Everything's so goddamn expensive, man. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm trying to get my fucking teeth pulled out, and everywhere I go, they're like, we don't take your insurance, and before we pull your teeth out, we have to do a cleaning. I don't want a fucking cleaning. I want you to take those goddamn pliers that you probably bought from Bob Vila at Sears, and I want you to rip my goddamn teeth out. Uh, I got a pair of pliers. Oh, I got a pair of pliers. Yeah, but you don't have Novocaine. I have alcohol. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> JC. Jesus, Jesus. Casey. Okay, uh, what what are we up to? 11 cavities, four that need pulled. Are you, yeah. Two, two uh, what what was it? Two root canals? Yeah, my teeth are fucked. If, if you're sorry, if you're talking about my truck or my teeth, uh, <laughs> my teeth are fucked. I have 11 cavities, like you said. I need two caps. I need uh, three teeth pulled, um, and I need two root canals. But the funny thing is, is I brush and use mouthwash. I, I brush my teeth twice a day, and I use mouthwash. It's just... How bad my fucking teeth are. Mouthwash is a fucking scam. Yeah, I know. I mean the brakes. Oh, you can do, you can do a GoFundMe for car dude, fix? Dude, they could, they did a GoFundMe for fucking potato, potato salad. salad. Yeah, and he raised like two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> fix Casey's fucking stank mouth. I don't know. The guy I took it to, he does it like out of his house. All right, because we live in the middle of nowhere, and of course they do. Um, so I think he's gonna let me do payments or whatever like that. What, the I don't truck? Know. Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, you're like jumping geez. subjects here, man. People are fucking. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry, you're, you're confusing me, and I'm sitting here <laughs> with you. I can't I, even... Just my whole life needs fixed. Let's just let's just say that I will do, and I have Novocaine. Yeah, because the first I've had two teeth pulled before, and I didn't feel a fucking thing. He Novocaine me up so good. Maybe he raped me when he was done. I don't know. You know, I do have weird poops every now and then. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, but I, I didn't feel a fucking thing. The only thing I felt was my teeth. You could hear my teeth cracking oh. when he was pulling it. That was a little weird. But he let me listen to music, which was pretty cool. I was like 16, 17 years old. I fucking forget. I just had god-awful teeth. But well, it, it was weird. I, well, when I was a kid, I had to get Novocaine done once. Well, not a kid. Teenager. Uh, I was doing Novocaine, and, you know, it, it really didn't – I'd never had it before. So it didn't, like, take effect. I still felt most everything. And then I finally got home, and I'm sitting there, and I'm making soup uh, for dinner. So I go to blow on this soup, and apparently the Novocaine had finally kicked in. So I just started blowing sideways. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I didn't know where to hold the spoon over here to blow on it to taste so the soup. So you probably looked like a retard. You weren't doing this. <laughs> <same story. laughs> you are like, God, look at that Down syndrome looking motherfucker. Actually, that's pretty funny. I, I saw a meme today of these uh, mentally handicapped people doing a concert on stage, and everyone called them System of a Down. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you, you creative bastards. That's so funny. <laughs> oh. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Yes, Baba Booey. Howard Stern's penis. Yes, Howard Stern's penis. Could be worse. It could very well be, uh, you know, you could be could be doing the Chester Bennington uh, <laughs> polka. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Fucking redecorating the window shades. Yeah. And and the funny thing is, is I brought this up to Jay a couple days ago. There was this rumor that it wasn't a suicide. It was a murder. I'm still seeing it. It's uh, it, dude. Snopes, man. I know, but I'm just saying it's bullshit. Like I'm seeing it all over the place. And his I guess his wife came out and said it was a murder. I don't fucking know how true it is because everything on the Internet is so fucking ass backwards. It's just bullshit. It's like anything else. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because there was something like uh, Chester and uh, Chris Connell. We're hanging out, <laughs> um, and they un <laughs> they uncovered a pedophile ring in the music industry or something like that. Yeah, it's all fake. Yeah. It's, it's all bullshit. But, you know, uh, in real news, yeah, they say that about Robin Williams, too. They like to say shit about everybody. In, in real news, though, the juice <laughs> is loose. Yeah. We want O.J. Simpson on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you hear about that? He's going to be paroled in October. Talking about GoFundMes, we should get a GoFundMe going because we want O.J. Simpson on this fucking show. Yeah, well, that, that's that's the thing. He wanted, he said that he wanted to just start doing a podcast. I figure he's been in prison for nine years. There's a pretty good opportunity here for us to uh, to, to shoot him out a message and say, Hey, up, do you want to be on our program? 
because uh, I don't think they he wouldn't know. He wouldn't know. He, yeah. he might think that we're real Internet celebrities instead of a bunch of idiots. Yeah, he'd be like, what is this Internet you speak of? <laughs> Oh, well, we'll just we'll just have to keep the white women away from him because you know he likes to murder them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, man. Hey, you want to hear something? Uh, something funny I found out. What's that? Uh, so you know uh, Hitler never actually killed any Jews himself, right? Yeah. Well, so that uh, that officially means that OJ is worse than Hitler. He killed <laughs> one Jew. <laughs> one Jew. That's true, man. And that probably should have been saved for the Patreon only <laughs> ah, whatever. broadcast, but whatever. I, iTunes is, is is only stretched with like racial shit. Like like we. Can't, what would you know. call a Jew joke? <laughs> um, what would you call? It? Do you want me to tell you a Jew joke? <laughs> no, <laughs> save that for another day. We're doing that for the Patreon only. Oh, broadcast. I got so many Jew jokes. It's not even funny. <laughs> well, then they're they're not really good jokes. And oh no, they're funny, hilarious. They? They're great. They're all about, like, you know, concentration camps or whatever, but, you know, that's what the Jews are known for. That and being stingy with the money. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> or wherever they talk. What the fuck are you talking <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, fucking, back to what I was saying. The fucking Hebrew shit. Skiddly doodly doodly. Dude, did you watch any of the, uh, did you watch any of that shit with the, uh, uh, the parole hearing? No, I didn't. Oh, uh, dude, I, I watched it. I watched it. I like did hear, time. though, that <laughs> by coincidence, uh, the Bronco truck is coming back out. They re-released it. <laughs> of, of course they are. I'm not joking. Who makes Broncos? Chevy? Ford. Ford. Ford, yeah. So um, right when Juice, I think it was the day of, actually. Don't quote me on that. But the day of Juice got parole, uh, they re-released the Ford Bronco. Fantastic. <laughs> That's like a couple years ago when the Steelers signed Michael Vick on National Dog Day. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I went right back to like ninety four, man. I was sitting there I was sitting there fucking watching the uh the the parole hearing and it was it I I, I was captivated. It was literally just back there like uh, you know, back to 1994, but it's, it's fucking, you know, everybody in the room is all like laughing and and just enjoying you know, the presence of being around Orenthal James Simpson. <laughs> so they're just sitting there and like at one point this lady makes a makes a statement, Oh, you're you're ninety, I I mean seventy and he goes, Well, I feel like I'm ninety. <laughs> oh, the Jew still has it. <laughs> Jew still has it. You killed two fucking people, but the Jew still has it. I was too, <laughs> I was too young to remember if he if I felt like he did it or not. I remember the glove fit, didn't it? If the glove don't fit, you must no. Well, he was wearing fucking, he was wearing fucking rubber gloves, and you put it put a leather glove over top of that. <laughs> I just well, remember, gee, I wonder why it didn't fit. I just, I just remember that being such a big deal. Like I was young, and I remember it being on all the time. I'm like, who is this black guy? <laughs> oh, dude, I watched the shit out of it. I mean, I, I might have been, I don't even know how old I was, like twelve. Yeah, my mother didn't supervise my television watching. <laughs> Used to watch like all sorts of shit I should have never been watching. Yeah, yeah. So I was watching a fucking OJ trial. Yeah, and drink apple juice, kids, because OJ will kill you. <laughs> I see OJ and he'd be looking scared and baba booey to y'all. Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> apparently, we got a Stern fan in here. That's great. Yes, Stern's the man. Well, he was the man about twenty five years ago. But yeah. hey, <laughs> hey, speaking of, he's Jews. got money and an audience, <laughs> and we don't. Speaking so, of hey. Jewish people, hey, we have Sai. Sai's Sai's our bitch. I, I mean that by a good way. I don't mean like you're a bitch. I mean like you all bitch. She was in the military. She could kick your ass. You yeah, she probably could. She probably could. <laughs> Fucking sharpen her teeth on your goddamn bones. She said. She said. She said earlier that she's wearing gold contacts. I have no idea how that works, but it sounds painful. <laughs> sounds creepy as hell. Yeah, that sounds really painful, Sai. I hope it's working out for you. Oh, I am a bitch. You know, I almost, uh, I almost made that shirt for you, the patron, patron donator shirt. Uh, say uh, this bitch instead of this this chick, but yeah. See, everyone's I like, figured, no, she is a bitch. <laughs> I figured you would enjoy it, but you know, maybe the next female patron who put posts up twenty bucks, yeah. Oh, you got a gold badge celebration show tonight. Oh, you, you got, got a gold, a gold badge. badge. God damn, we got to catch the fuck up. I know. And, and and saying the word badge, I feel like I got to play Pokemon now. I got to get my gym badges. <laughs> oh, my God. I love my shirt, she says. That's good. So it fits nice and everything like that. I know the last uh, shirt you bought from us, whatever, you, it was a little tight around the chest. <laughs> a little, no, the, I remember, the chesticles. Uh, yeah, the chesticles. I remember you telling us it was a little, so you had to like cut it a little bit. But I hope this one fits okay. Because uh, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, Psy tricked us into live streaming. Psy, <laughs> man, you ought to, you ought to, you know, put the, uh, you ought to put the shirt on for one of your, one of your uh, shows. 
Yes. Casey, you can be my prison bitch. That's okay. She uh, lost our shirt. That's because <laughs> she likes us better than you, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm just she joking. never got the other shirt. Dude, did you send an email to them? Seriously, like I'll, I'll send one on your behalf, too, if you want, but that's bullshit. Just joking. He he doesn't mean that, Jimmy. You, you have a uh, New York accent, and it scares me. <laughs> you didn't I absolutely mean will. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, that's bullshit. Uh, we, we go through Spreadshirt right now, and uh, we're actually looking into... You guys sound like ONA fans. You'd be absolutely correct on that. <laughs> I am a huge ONA fan. I I I uh, I will admit it readily. Yeah, he he. Uh, that's actually you went to college because of Owen Anthony, didn't you? No, no, I didn't go to college for for that, but I did. Uh, it, it, you'd say it helped influence you. Yeah, well, I, I did. I've listened to a lot of talk radio over the years, and I actually considered going to college for uh, communications. I ended up not doing it. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Well, you know. Why? What'd Jackie do? What'd you do, Jackie? No, nah, she's saying it's because I'm an ONA fan. <laughs> uh, although I'm 90% sure that they are going to reunite on the Anthony's Compound Media Podcast Network. Yeah, because I guess something happened where they... W w which one is the less racist one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't remember. Three years ago, Anthony got fired for going on a racist tirade on Twitter because he's like a complete kook. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying he wasn't a little justified, but probably should have calmed down. Like, don't angry tweet. Uh, <laughs> wow is good, yes. Uh, if you're talking about World of Warcraft, yes, it is good. Or, or, <laughs> or whip them out Wednesday, which is no anything, so there's that. Uh oh. Anyway... Yeah, send an email. You're, she's weird about reaching out to people, yet she she talks to us. I love Wait, Anthony well, what the happened? best. Wait, I agree. What happened? What do you she mean? She still never got her shirt. Oh, I thought she said she just got it today. She got her donator shirt today. Oh, my God. She didn't get the shirt from way, way back? How do you like the new Norton show? I am a fan of Jimmy's show. And, in fact, if you go back on our YouTube channel, I think it's our third episode or something like that, third or fourth episode. Uh, we played some clips from them uh, interviewing Nancy Grace. Yeah. Because um, Nancy was like Grace our, is a piece of crap. Yeah, that was like our third episode, I think, ever. And we were talking about, basically, uh, if you don't know about it, Nancy Grace came into the uh, opening Anthony. I'm not opening Anthony. Jim and Jim, Jim Sam show. Jim show. Um, and she basically was there to promote her book. And Jim and what's his name just ripped into her, like, just calling her, you know, an abuser and taking people advantage of people's suffering and using it to her advantage. And she ended up leaving. And it was so funny. Cause he like played a car crash accident when she left. And he was like, I think that went better <laughs> than I thought it would be. It was great. It was really funny. Yeah. So if you go way back on our YouTube channel, that's uh, youtube.com slash C slash openly hostile opinions. If you want to look, you can go back and see that. That, that was pretty funny. Yeah. It, it, they it they just, fun. they just destroyed her. <laughs> it's like how the hell she claims to like not be exploiting people. Oh, that's the way like Dr. Phil and all those fucking pieces of shit. Dr. Are. Phil, you're not excited about your life. <laughs> you're not excited about your life. Speaking of Dr. <laughs> Phil, how the fuck are you going to be fat and write a diet book? <laughs> Did he really? Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't I don't get that at all. Like that'd be like me writing a diet book. <laughs> oh my god. Dr. Phil, what are you doing, man? Are you that low on money? That, you know, the Cash Me Outside girl made you popular. And then did you, yeah, did you see that? She claimed that uh, <laughs> she claimed that I'm the one who made you popular. She did. I'm pretty much sure fucking Oprah made him popular. I know, but she even said that again because I think she retweeted something saying that, uh, you know, uh, Oprah. Or I think she actually said it to his face that like Oprah, she made him famous. And I was just like, God damn, dude. Oprah did make him famous. Yeah, she did. I don't know. I think I think though that's that's like that's like Hitler trying to write like a a sermon for a synagogue. Like it's just it just makes no sense, man. Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. I I made you. What what are we talking about here? I, we got some weird shit going on in the comment section. Oh, she. I think they're talking about what's her name. Uh, Cash me outside. Girl. Oh, okay. She did say straight to his face that she made him because I think it was the second time she came back on the show. Uh huh. Because he said um. He goes, I hear you're pretty popular now since you've been on my show. You know, the Internet's really taken a liking to you. And she's like, yeah, I made you like Oprah. I've made you famous. <laughs> Jerry Springer and Dr. Phil are filmed in Stanford, Connecticut. I was pretty sure Jerry Springer was filled in the bowels of hell. I actually, when I was younger, I had a friend um, and her friends were lesbians and they went on Jerry Springer's show and they say it is fake as fuck. 
There's oh, a, yeah. a lot of paperwork you have to sign. They could sue you if you talk about it and shit. Of it's course. Like, yeah. It's like, oh, covert and shit like that. <laughs> well, did you actually believe? Well, it's like anybody who uh, who would sit there and believe that uh, anything about any kind of reality television is, a, is real. There's nothing fucking real about any of it. Yeah, I know. It's all narratives. It's all dumb shit. Well, that's you know? the thing. Like, And reality shows are really cheaper for uh, studios and networks and stuff like that because you don't have to build a set. It's already there. Yeah, except for the poor fucking interns who have to watch hours and hours and hours <laughs> of fucking people just doing mundane, boring bullshit to try no. to find some conflict. It's like the Amish mafia and all that bullshit. It's like, give me oh a my fucking God. break. And that reminds me, Jay, I don't know if we talked about this in the show or not, but there's this Amish comedian that's oh, out yeah, there. Oh, yeah, he's fucking hilarious. And he's really fucking funny. So if you like that kind of stuff, look it up. The, oh, the best show ever is that hoarder show. So, oh, my God, yeah. Every time I watch that show, I immediately get up afterwards and clean my house. <laughs> I do. I, I feel like such a fucking slob. You're like, oh, gotta hide the dead bodies. Oh, shit. Before my wife gets home. Although, in reality, I should look at that and go, hey, at least it ain't that bad. <laughs> I don't know. People are like that. I think my mom has a mild case. She saves everything. Ugh. Well, my house gets cluttered because I have kids. Yeah, that's and true. It's like, you know, if I literally spent my entire day following around picking shit up, I still wouldn't get shit done. Yeah. And not to mention that, but I got, you know, uh, fucking between working and... Work uh, sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I've got no fucking spare time. I fucking hate work. It is horrible. Oh, God, <laughs> headphones piss me off. <laughs> What's wrong with your headphones now? Ah, uh, it's the glasses. They shove the things in my ears. I think it's your Jufro that, like, makes them hurt. My Jufro. <laughs> Fuck you. You do have a Jufro. Chat, do you agree Jay has a Jufro? <laughs> Those motherfuckers. <laughs> it is very Jewish looking. Actually, with that haircut right now, you sort of look like James Hetfield. I don't have a haircut. More, more like a plumper James Hetfield. Fuck you. <laughs> it's okay. You can have a receding hairline like me. <laughs> Your hairline has gone from receding to running the fuck away. Yeah, I'm so like <laughs> fucking pale, and my hair's going. I'm starting to look like powder from that movie. <laughs> Yo, you ever watch? Uh, you ever watch American Ninja Warrior? No, I haven't. I am uh, fucking addicted. Every to that once show. in a while, like I'll stop because some girl with a tight fucking ass is on there, and I'll beat one out real quick. But that's about it. <laughs> well, I'm addicted to that show, and uh, th there's this one competitor. And I James Fatfield. <laughs> 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 you you've won the day, Jimmy. Oh, that was good. You've won Jimmy. the day. <laughs> that was good. Dude. Anyway, like I was saying, there's this one competitor on there, and dude looks like fucking buff powder. Every time he comes <laughs> on, my wife and I are like, "Powder, powder's on there." That movie was fucking weird. I remember seeing that in the movie theaters when movie theaters didn't have stadium. St stadium. The fuck is stadium? <laughs> it sounds like. Is some... it something you put in your coffee to sweeten it? <laughs> it sounds like some John Madden sells for athletes' foot. <laughs> Bam! Stadium! <laughs> but when they didn't have stadium seating... Now you... there's a guy who, when he runs, he goes faster. Thank you, John Madden. <laughs> yeah, I remember playing a Madden game, and I threw a pass. They're like, see, back in the day, they used stick them. Now they use gloves. I'm like, thanks, Madden. That... <laughs> Thank you for that advice. I, I feel like I can sleep better at night. Jesus Christ. But Cric I remember that movie Powder being really fucking weird. It well, was weird. Yeah. Cricket says we miss all of her best comments. Well, I'm sorry. I couldn't I didn't spend the whole it. thing here. I know. Like, I you know what? They really should have like a longer archive. Like, I know. They, like, That's the thing I hate about the chat for this. It should be like Twitch where it never goes away. Well, I was thinking on the left hand or the right hand side of the screen, they should have a whole list of them. At least you'd be able to read them for a little while longer. Yeah. I know. I, I'm just bad at multitasking, Cy. Si. Like, I would be a horrible porn star. Like, when you watch those porns... That's and because you're, like, a kid with ADHD. <laughs> and the girl's sitting on the ground. There's, like, 15 dicks around her. The one guy always has a small dick, so it's, like, 15 and a half. Yeah, and she's sitting there just fucking, like... They have just all over. Yeah, I couldn't do that shit. I, I could not fucking do that. You can scroll back up and stuff. <laughs> See, we didn't even know that. <laughs> I, can't, I can't scroll. Yeah, we can't I got no scroll. scrolling. Unless it does it from your phone. Egg DRP. Yeah, Cy and... Sky and, Sky and Jimmy are both saying egg DRP. You people know way too much about this shit. <laughs> I know, dude. Oh, man, yeah. We are just, we're, we're learning the whole Paris. Oh, it's thing. an add-on. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we didn't. We didn't know shit, you know, about Periscope. Just Sai was just the one. 
who is all very adamant about us using Periscope. We were just going to do everything through YouTube Live. but Yeah, because we were doing this stuff and just putting it out later whenever we wanted to, but she tricked us into live stream. Trick, uh, it's, it, it's in our <laughs> Patreon thing. I know, but I'm glad you did, Cy, because it, it's, it's, it's really it's why open. why we have VIP badges. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Why don't you people like post on your Twitters and shit, because we need some more viewers. Yes, yeah, so we do. Uh, yeah, we do. We do indeed. Uh, usually Casey's the one who catches it live if he can, because I am usually in bed because I have to like get up with children. Yeah, Jimmy, we do watch it. Casey, let's play Star Wars with the dildos. Okay. All right just, then. Just, but you got to do something for me when you put it in my ass, like when I put the dildo in your ass, you got to go. <laughs> you got to make the Chewbacca noise. I wouldn't say <laughs> tricked so much as convinced. You guys need a third grader to help us. Yes, we do. Yeah, I know, man. It's like back in the day when nobody could program the fucking shit on the VCR. Yeah, Jimmy, I do watch you. I watch you when I can. I play WoW that night, so I like I play WoW and watch you at the same time. That's all you ever do is play <laughs> WoW, you fucking sad bastard. I like your parrot. Your parrot makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when I, I remember when I first caught that parrot, I thought it was real. <laughs> so you know about my celebrity closet window? That sounds dirty. Yes, that does sound dirty. <laughs> Sounds like something that makes someone very moist and soggy. Nerds! <laughs> I am a fucking nerd. I don't care. I, I, I'm assuming that that's, uh, that's a, another fan of Team Four Star. <laughs> Team Four Star. <laughs> Everyone thinks, yeah, dude, when I first saw it, I was like, I was like, that motherfucker. Because I remember seeing it, and I'm like, God, that parrot is really well behaved. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it's fake. Like, I was like, I was like, I, if I was a parent, I'd fly away. I'd be like, see you later. But it was like just chilling there. I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Fucking nerds. Yeah, we're nerds. So what? Yeah, whatever. I'm less Speaking of a nerd than this, than this motherfucker. Yeah, whatever. I, Not really. I'm the one who maintains everything, builds the websites, <laughs> fucking tries to fix our RSS feed when it breaks. I still don't know what the fuck's wrong with the podcasting thing. I don't know. And, and that's another thing. Like, me and Jay, we were using, what were we using? I feel we were using to upload our podcast to the internet, and they basically just raised our monthly fee or yearly fee. Wasn't it like 20 bucks to like we were, Yeah, we were using a word space where we used to buy a year worth of hosting for 15 bucks. Yeah, and I went to like six, four. Yeah, 60. 60. Yeah. So because, I switched. Uh, I switched fucking hosts because kiss my ass. Um, I just like I don't like it's just so funny. Like like we're, we're pretty much nobodies. We've just been doing this. No one really watches us. We do have a lot of people that means a lot like Cy and Jimmy you come in all the time we appreciate that but we're like nobodies basically and this site saw that we were had that much traffic so they just like boosted well, they were just pissed because we were hosting so many mp3 yeah files. so they're like oh you know they must have money so they just fucking took advantage of us well and... I upload to archive.org now it's free yeah it works freeze better except when free it's work. herpes then freeze just fucking god awful <laughs> yes baby steps Baby steps is very important. <laughs> yeah, we're unless working. you're a pedophile. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, Hell, I, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. Damn right. <laughs> I just thought like this is the PG version of McNasty and Jimmy show. It ain't that PG, except for the fact that we can't fucking go too bad with it because uh, <laughs> the whole. Oh, uh, Howard Stern imitators. Yeah, okay. And <laughs> I'm not Jewish. I can't be. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we can't go too bad because the whole uh, we do the podcast. We can't get banned by iTunes because we get more podcast listeners than we do viewers on here. So, you know. But like I said, that's why you need to become a patron because we do, we'll do. we do the uncensored Holy show. shit, actually, someone's calling us. <laughs> oh, my shit. Answer that shit. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> Hello? Hey, who we got? Hold on a second. I'm trying to figure out. It's Jimmy Knapp. Oh, what's hey, up, Hey, Jimmy! <laughs> my, my audio fixed. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's probably on our end. This shit sucks. Yeah. Like, we're, we're basically running this through a fucking computer on a hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? I said we're basically running this computer through a hamster wheel, so we're still trying to figure out everything out. It might be on our end still. Can you hear us at all? Can Can you guys hear me? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear us? No, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something else. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can hear you fine, but you can't hear me. 
No. We oh, no, hear. we hear you. <laughs> I don't think you can hear us. Okay. Well, I don't know what the hell that just happened with Jimmy there. Yeah. Hey, um, we'll listen for your call, bud. Yeah, we'll listen to her. Uh, yeah, we're, a- we're still trying to figure that out. We were trying Skype. We have to use Google Hangouts because Skype was fucking with us. They were, like, trying to charge us and shit. And yeah, we ain't got no money. We ain't got no patrons <laughs> for that shit. Yeah, we, we're very poor. We're very poor. Well, that, for some <laughs> reason, your computer just doesn't like Skype. Yeah, I know. Like, I don't get what it is with fucking... His his voice went all Barry Wood. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did get bassy there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Listen to all you listeners tonight. I wish I had a voice like Barry Manilow. Like, Barry Manilow's voice is the greatest fucking voice ever. Like, uh, just, like, oh, Either that or the guy that does the movie trailers, the really low one where he's like, in a world. <laughs> yeah, okay, the, the guy from... Uh... From honest movie trailers. Is he still alive? Who? The guy that does the voice for movies, or did someone take his place? It's not just one guy. <laughs> I don't. They all sound the same to me. For fuck's sake! They all sound the same to me. <laughs> it's not just one dude. What? That does all the like movie trailer things, like in a world. <laughs> <laughs> See, even you can do it. I know, but it doesn't sound right, man. It just doesn't sound right. I don't know. I did the beer of the week voice. I just put a bunch of fucking. Yeah, that's true. Maybe Who's high do. pitch? Uh, I'm high pitch. I'm Jay. <laughs> I don't know. High pitch. That sounds like a like a lackey you have in prison. Like, yeah, well, this is my pot, and I'm high pitch. <laughs> I don't know. I think we both have fairly high voices. Neither one of us have radio voices. Yeah, I don't have a good radio voice like old time radio. Oh, I got a burp. This beer makes me very gassy. I know several people can imitate that exactly. Well, we need to talk to those people because I need to have some people make us some promo shit. Yeah. I did the beer of the week thing and I put so many fucking effects on it, it didn't even sound human anymore. James Earl Jones. Yeah, he's he's a fucking awesome motherfucker. I did that. Like I said, if anyone watches, I do a trivia night. I did a uh, question about who was the junkyard man in uh, the Sandlot movie. And it was James Earl Jones. I didn't remember that. I didn't. In a world where vomit comes out of my mouth. Did you see me naked lately? <laughs> Anyone seen we'll Stoner be. Satan? No, I don't know who Stoner Satan is. There was a guy on here. I don't know if he's still in here. Didn't we have a guy named Hail Satan that was in here? Yeah, he was around here. Oh, he was? Hail Satan's the shit. This is the fun. Even if you don't worship Satan, just say it. It, it cracks me up. Hail <laughs> Satan! Yeah. Hail Satan! That's, yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't know why this reminds me, but... uh. Any Game of Thrones fans in the chat? <laughs> Game of Thrones started up again. Uh, I'm a huge fan of it. Jay hasn't watched well, it Well, I'm yet. on the sidelines on this one. I'm not a, I'm not a Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> and, and the funny thing is, is every fucking year, every fucking year Game of Thrones starts. You know, I love talking about Game of Thrones. It's, it's the only show that has personally made me love and hate fictional characters. The writing is so good. The show is so fucking good. And for some reason... People get so hipster about it. Yeah, Arya is kicking ass. <laughs> Arya is fucking doing it up. But, like, I feel like there's all these hipsters who are like, am I the only one in the world that doesn't watch Game of Thrones? It's like, can we have this? Can we just have this? <laughs> I don't get upset that anybody who likes no, it. I just didn't get into it. No, it's not you. I just feel Of course, like... you motherfuckers all call me a hipster anyway. <laughs> That's because you wear flannel. <laughs> At least I don't have my little funny hat and my flannel shirt on today. Yeah, Arya is awesome. Uh, I don't know if you were watching the newer episodes at all, Cy, but I'm really liking Euron, uh, the J- the Greyjoy guy in the last episode that just fucking went crazy. He's like, I love villains. I have a thing for villains. I just, I get them. <laughs> and I just, I just think he's fucking awesome. And I just, I can't wait to see what they do with him. I'm just sad that there's only seven episodes in this season. That really upsets me. But I can understand why they said, yeah, we want to, oh, uh, yeah, you hate Euron. Yeah, I love him. He's so awesome. Um, I, I can see why they want to do it. They want to make it good instead of just draw it out. I love hate Cersei. Yeah, the Lannisters, Cersei and Jamie. I feel bad for them because of how they were raised. Uh, that was about it. <laughs> Jay's like, fuck you. <laughs> Stop talking about Game of Thrones. I don't care. Yeah, Theon is a puss. I, I knew Theon wasn't done with Reek yet. Like when when he was all like, oh, you know, I'm I'm love you, sister. I'm gonna be your blah blah blah. I didn't think it was over. Uh, yeah, I did hear there. I heard there's going to be a prequel, actually. Uh, they're supposed to... Yeah, Skype doesn't work for us either, Jimmy. 
Uh, but I, I feel like they said something about there's going to be a prequel about the Targaryens and shit like that. They're going to get more into them. Theon went to get help. Maybe he did. I don't know. Okay, so Skype's what he uses. We use Hangouts. They both fucking suck. I got a better idea. We need to get a fucking intern. We need to, we need to like, uh, offer college credit to get some fucking dumbass <laughs> communications know. major in here to come intern. here and make shit if, work. If we get an intern, though, can we make it like a porn star or something? <laughs> Can't wait for Stranger Things. I haven't gotten around to it. I watched uh, watch Vikings and Ash vs. Evil Dead. We do love Ash vs. Evil Dead. Uh, I've been watching the shit out of that. Uh, that's one of the only things that I watch, like, the day it airs. Uh, I, I fucking do DVR for everything. You got to watch Game of Thrones, OJ. I, it, I can't get into it. I watched a couple episodes. It's just not my thing. You have to. Uh, it's just not my thing. It. I just don't get it. That show is so fucking powerful. I don't man. know. You got, like, fucking naked chicks everywhere that are just, like, doing shit. You got dragons. You got some fucking little midget dude running around doing shit. <laughs> and the midget dude's all mean and shit. Why is the midget dude no, all mean? No, he's not that mean. He's actually the nicest out of Lannisters. Well, Jamie's pretty nice, but he can't be because, you know. <laughs> I opened a whole new can of worms. <laughs> dude, it's so intricate. Like, it's just so crazy. Like, every character has so much to them. And that's why, like, to tell you the truth, there was only one. <laughs> Jay's like, come out here <laughs> welcome to the casey game of thrones show <laughs> but they get so into every character it's hard to not hate anybody like i uh, there's one character i hated and that was jeffrey that's because his face just like i i don't think i hated jeffrey's character i think i just hated his face <laughs> yes that's that's exactly <laughs> adam oh. i read some of the books i it's for me it's hard to Casey read doesn't fucking read yeah i do i read a lot actually I know. um i just i have to be picky about it um it's hard for me to read once i've seen movies or shows on it because it takes the fantasy away i can't create myself because i watched game of thrones before i knew it was a book so it's sort of like ruined it for me but i do he wrote uh george R. R. martin wrote fifty thousand years of history so i read a lot of that yeah, I read them all the time. Yeah, they're uh, they're just I I read like I read bits and pieces and stuff. Like I said, it's just hard for me, but it's so amazing. Like my favorite um, was uh, Obrien Martell, the Viper. He was my favorite character. Like I loved him. He fucked dudes. I didn't care. He fucked women. He just did whatever he wanted. And out of the sixty-two episodes Game of Thrones has. He was in eight of them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, the history book, like I'm saying. They, there's even a cookbook. I work with a lady that her son cooked stuff out of the book. Like, it was uh, pheasant stew and black bread. And uh, he gave it to me. It was actually pretty cool. So how about that sports ball? <laughs> hey, uh, I'm See, gonna... this is why you got to watch it so you can talk to us I'm about go I'm going to save Casey from being a dick and forgetting about this again this week. <laughs> so here, allow Obrien's me. Obrien's a shit, Si. Okay, here. Talk about what this is. <laughs> this is... Oh, shit, I need to talk to Mike here. This is a painting that we're going to hang up. My friend Jason, he was on the show, actually, uh, painted this, or painted this, drew this with just magic markers, or Sharpies, I should say, and we're going to hang it up back here. He actually sells these for 45 bucks, I think, or something, uh, but I don't know where he sells them through. <laughs> I just have it because he lives right behind me. If you, if you're interested in one, shoot us a message on Twitter. And we'll, I, I just we'll feel like this is cool, it. but I just I was gonna hang it up today, but I I don't know where to hang it up at. Like it may look big on camera, but I, I'm I'm talking about the wall here, not my penis. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you know what? Hang it on the wall next to you, right above your head, and it'll show on the camera. Oh, it will. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, like if it was over back in 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 this vicinity. Yeah, see, but it would show back here. Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna hang it yet. I don't know. It just looks cool i thought <laughs> yeah anyway if you want one just uh get in touch with us on the twatter we'll put you in touch with the guy who makes him but anyway yeah i figured uh since since i had nothing better to do since i couldn't contribute that is super cool so i says yes yes uh if you want one like i said shoot us a message we'll get you in touch with him yeah he goes through like cases of magic markers and sharpies and shit to paint one of those it takes him forever and in night depressants and sadness and <laughs> alcohol well, that's the thing he had a bunch of those <laughs> laying there and he's like, he's like, I want you to have one of these. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'll hang it up on our show, you know, uh, and, and put it back somewhere or something like that. He's like, well, pick whatever one you want. And I picked that one. And he's like, what do you like about that one? I was like, I don't know. It looks like when you were the most depressed. <laughs> it reminds me of something that would be on a white zombie album. Cover. Yeah, it does. 
It just looks like he was really depressed when he was writing that, like drawing that thing, and like he was just this close to Chester and himself. <laughs> <laughs> Chester and himself. Actually, the 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 Chris Cornell thing. Did he hang himself too? Yeah. Oh, okay. God, what's with the hangings? Jesus, man. I don't know because maybe it makes less of a fucking mess. Did you ever think about that? Fuck that, dude. Did- if I ever killed myself, I would walk into like a restaurant on kids night, okay? And just blow my fucking brains out in front of all of them on like spaghetti night so they can't tell what parts of my brains are the spaghetti. God, you're <laughs> awful. I know I am. <sighs> yeah, well, you know what? They were just they were just trying to make it a little bit nicer for whoever found them cuz you know what? Someone's got to clean that shit up. Yeah. The the maid from Family Guy. You know what? The thing that pisses no, no, me no, off. No, no, more lemon pledge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that pisses me off about that though, the whole Chester thing is I couldn't give a shit less about him as a artist cuz Linkin Park sucks mm-hmm. dick. Yeah. But th- the fact of the matter is, you know, he was a father of six kids. Yeah. Like, how? what kind of fucking selfish douche leaves behind six kids? Hey, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, I, I feel, you know, with suicide and stuff, you're t- still taking a life. It's still murder in my eyes. So uh, me and Jay were talking about this. I think you go into a state of, you know, murderous rage when you kill yourself. Because, you know, you are killing yourself, but you are still taking a life. And I think, you know, a lot of people... You know, when they go through this kind of stuff, they get into a murderous rage. You know, I, I've been in parts of my life where I've only felt rage, and it sucks. <laughs> like, it fucking sucks. It's just... He was not fucking murdered. The conspiracy's all bullshit. Go to Snopes, people. <laughs> my God. But that's the thing. Uh, I, I forget, because the chat runs through quick. I have been seeing a lot more. Uh, we were reading about how it is fake and stuff like that, but there's a lot more sites coming out, and then there's a site saying that his wife came out now, but you know, there's... Do, do you people believe in Pizzagate, too? <laughs> God, wear a diaper when you hang yourself. Yeah, there is that. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you're gonna do a good, you know, do it outside or something. Somebody's gonna clean this shit up. <laughs> more, more, lemon, co- the, more lemon pledge. Yeah, the, co- <laughs> the cops don't come picking your brain material out of the fucking wall. But but the thing is, is two years ago, it's funny that this happened. Well, not really. He hung himself. But anyways, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty fucking funny. I had quite a few jokes. Watch right. the replay. I said it at the beginning of the episode. Um. So, two years ago, I went to California to BlizzCon. If anyone plays World of Warcraft, they'll know what that is. Um. <laughs> and Linkin Park was the band that played BlizzCon every year. One year they had Metallica, they had Jack Black one year and stuff like that. Um, and I remember watching Linkin Park and I looked at Chester and I was like, holy fuck, he looks like shit. And I told Jay this when I came back from it. I was like, I don't know if it was Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah, it says Stone Temple Pilots curse. Yeah, and all the fucking heroin he did. I'm going again this year, Cy. Um, But I just remember telling Jay, I was like, he looked like a depressed, miserable piece of shit. And I was in the very back, and I could tell. Oh, is this about the Trump administration? No, this is about the dumbass uh, from Lincoln Park who hung himself. (laughs) Uh, We try not to talk about the whole politics thing very often until Jay or Casey gets on a rant. (laughs) We we don't get into politics. We try not to because we have differing opinions on most things, and frankly, I find all of you disgusting. (laughs) (laughs) You all sicken me with your ignorance. Yeah, me and Jay have really different opinions on politics, I'd say. But we, we we calmly talk about it. But the thing is, is it just fires both of us up, and then we're, like, pissed after the because show. Because we both <laughs> hate politicians. Yeah. Like, I would say, the the best thing you need to know about politics between me and Jay is, is I would say Jay has a little bit of faith in our politics. He knows they're fucked up. Would you, would you say that's accurate? You know they're fucked up. You just don't know what to do about it or what the best option would be. Is that is that the best way to put it? Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> I have I, no... I just feel like... You know what? My my biggest question is, where's the fucking anger, the rage, the fucking will, the 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 desire to fight? Where the fuck is it? Where's the people out there writing music like Rage Against the Machine? And where the fuck is Ministry at? The company? Mm. By the way, Ministry is probably going to be releasing a new album this year, and it'll probably be great because fucking Trump's in office. Ivanka Whenever Trump. there's a Republican in office, they write great albums. Yeah, Miss, Mrs. Trump, I'd drink her bathwater. I don't give a fuck. Oh, Melania. <laughs> Melania's sexy as shit. Melania. I'd, I'd fucking lick her balloon knot up and down. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Ivanka Trump is so solid. Yeah, but you know, it's like... 
You kn- is that the daughter? Uh, yeah. That just shows how much I follow politics. But, like, you, but you you know, it, like, it comes from him. So, you like, there'd be no way to do it. <laughs> I know. And that's the thing. If I There's ever. There's no way to do it without picturing daddy. Ugh. If if I ever yeah. had sex with a female Trump, I just think of the dad the whole time. I'm like, I can't do this. You know what? Though? <laughs> I'm that, going to get a hooker. That reminds me, man. I, <laughs> l- l- let me talk about Melania Trump for a minute here. Somebody said the other day, Ivanka Trump wants you. Yeah, right. Uh, Melania, somebody was like, oh, it's disgusting what she's doing. She just wants his money. No shit. I know. Like, what? (laughs) And you know what? And she deserves every penny of it. You know why? Because she has to deal with his fucking orange old dick. (laughs) I know, dude. I bet you that shit looks like fucking Tony the Tiger's, like, tail or something. I don't know. (laughs) She has to sit there and lay there and try to pretend to be enjoying for, like, 20 minutes yeah. oh because right. oh, you know it's gonna oh. take it uh <laughs> and you know it's gonna take him forever because that shit stopped working years ago you know yeah, of course you just yeah. gotta get there and get assaulted just just literally uh, bathed <laughs> in loose trump skin just slather and well all the her. funny thing oh, she deserves every penny the funny thing about fake tanning is my brother used to date a girl that fake tan like a motherfucker like the spray and all that shit and he said it was so fucking horrible when she would spend the night because all of her tanning shit would rub off on his sheets. And he said it was so fucking disgusting. Like, oh, man. His member is creepy. Yes. He can only come when looking in the mirror. That <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. He is a narcissist like a mother. Yeah. I don't care if you support the guy or not, dude. He's a narcissist. Oh, like what was that one movie with fucking Christian Bale in it? American Psycho. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Like where he's fucking that nurse or not nurse. Why do I think of nurse? <laughs> what his, turns you on, Casey? His tool is crusty. <laughs> yeah, where he's fucking that hook or whatever. And he's in the mirror and he's like flexing while he's doing her. I could see Donald Trump doing you that. You know, I, actually, I'm glad we got into this because just the other day I got into a <laughs> debate with my mother who I love my mom to death. I do. But sometimes she just says the dumbest shit. <laughs> Yeah, she does. I'm she's sorry funny. if you watch this, mom, but the fact she doesn't that... watch, she's embarrassed of this show. <laughs> but yet she wears our T-shirt. Yeah. Anyway, the fact of the matter is, my mother just says the dumbest shit sometimes. Like she's so naive. She's she, that that just goes to show you how at heart she's such a good person because she's so naive. We were talking about Anna Nicole <laughs> Stroud and Turin bed sheets. <laughs> uh, she was a. Uh, talking about Anna Nicole, Anna Nicole Smith, you know, you know her story, marrying a fucking rich old dude. And she's like, but, but she really loved him. Like, are you serious? That bitch loved drugs. She loved money. <laughs> she loved the money. I remember when, uh, when the old, the old bastard finally kicked off, you know, and she got into this big legal battle with, uh, the rest of the family members and shit. It's like, oh, she's a gold digger. No kidding. I know. And it's so funny because like, <laughs> I just, a lot of people out there respect celebrities. I have no idea why. Well, you know, the fact is she deserved every penny that he left her. Because she had to go through and do the work of getting his old dick inside of her. I mean, she had to suck that old wrinkly cock at least once. And see, that's the thing. I would have fucking, like, grabbed it, put a pencil down on it, and just wrote it. <laughs> oh, my God. And she, you almost would have to, like, strap shit to I know. it to just you would make have it to, work. You would have to, like, get a dick brace. Like, they probably make them. Oh my but. God. You know, <laughs> if, if she's going to have to lay there and at least once a month probably just just get stabbed by a fucking fucking wrinkly old member, the least that she should do is get and a that's what I'm mil. saying, dude. You see these rich females with these old motherfuckers, and, you know, like you said, I think they deserve every penny, too. Oh, my because God. Because every yeah, night. You're talking about the young women, right? Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, you know, women. every night those young girls are sucking that dick. Their face is pressing up against the salt and pepper pubes. Oh, and w- with Viagra, <laughs> yeah. you know, with Viagra, it's all. Dude. You know, uh, salt and pepper, my ass. These guys are rocking a full-on bush of fucking oh, snow white fucking oh, Donald yeah. Sutherland hair oh, right bet, around no, the fucking. But, but there's, there's probably a couple black ones in there and shit like uh, that. It looks like fucking when you dump salt and pepper on the table and there, she's probably sucking that dick. You can smell the guy's asshole because he wears diapers. Fucking dick smells like the Great Depression. Oh, and you know, you, <laughs> like, <laughs> if you happen to look up, you know, you'll see that little shit that's in the corner of their mouths. Yeah, they're like foaming uh, because, you know, their prostate's getting emptied that hasn't been emptied. You're afraid they're going to die while, you're, while, while they're getting <laughs> fucked. I mean, if that doesn't earn you a couple million dollars, I don't know what does. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, fuck, fuck the brains away. Like, who, who gives a fuck, dude? Like, you know, 
women that marry old Little guys for their day. money, I salute you. I wish I could do it. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, and people are like, oh, they're taking advantage of bullshit. Yeah. He like, knows exactly what he was doing. <laughs> That's like Hugh Hefner, man. Like all oh those girls God, yeah. are like, oh, I'm a playboy. They don't give a fuck if they have to suck his dick or milk his prostate every night with a fucking road cone. Like, oh my god, it'd be fucking, like a rotor rooter in there. Yeah, like they're a fucking <laughs> They're a fucking Playboy bunny. They don't give a shit. They have to, you know, suck some fucking liver spotted dick some night. Like, who gives a shit? Ugh, I just wish I could do it. <laughs> but I have the wrong parts. Oh, well, I, today there's more than two genders, so what the fuck do I know? <laughs> who gives a shit? I don't even understand why people get a bad out of shape about that. I always see so many fucking memes and shit about that. It's like, you know what? They're not hurting anybody. I don't care if uh, you think you're a goddamn walrus. You're not hurting <laughs> me. You know, male, female, fucking gender fluid, non-binary... <laughs> fucking, fucking attack helicopter! I don't give a rat's ass. Yeah, who gives I don't a care shit? if you identify yourself as a goddamn SD card. Whatever makes you happy, you do you. I'll do me. But yeah. you know, as long as you don't be like one of these fucking fat goddamn social justice warrior fucking red hair goddamn. <laughs> you actually glasses. use social justice oh, the, warrior? Yeah, because I don't I, like. I, I don't can't like believe it. I can't believe I don't like to say that about people who believe other people should be treated fairly. Yeah, I yeah. use it for fucking like That's why feminist I use it. goddamn yeah. fucking Godzilla looking cunts who stomp it into the room. Yeah. Somebody's offending me. I hate feminists. I'm sorry. And I'm talking about I'm not talking about the good feminism where they think men and women should be equal. I'm talking about like the Nazi like Oh the fucking the shave your fucking head because fuck men bullshit. Dude, I saw the other day some from some fucking mentally mentally ill uh fucking psych ward patient posted on <laughs> Twitter that uh make sure you always refer to your cats and dogs in general neutral pronouns because they know <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? My dog eats its own shit. If it can eat its own shit, I'm pretty sure it doesn't care whether it's male or fucking female. See, how's Cy. feminism gonna help you help you open that jar? Damn right. That's why I love you, Sai. Ah, uh, you just you get you me. Understand that? <laughs> you get me. Like I know a lot of men right now that they don't even ask women on dates anymore because they're like they'll ask them on a date like, hey, I'd like to take you out to dinner sometime. I could buy my own fucking meal. It's like, all right, go and buy your own fucking meal then. Like, holy shit, man! Ex like, excuse Jesus me, miss. Christ. Excuse me, miss. I have a boyfriend. I was gonna ask you for the fucking time, you selfish cunt. <laughs> I know, I just don't get it. And, like, we covered this on a show, like, way back in the day. There was this girl driving down the street, and this guy walks out of his house, and he was putting trash in his truck, and he said hello. And she, like, flipped on him. She called the cops on him and stuff, and he's like, what is going on? She's like, you don't say hi to people you don't know. And it's like, God, these sex robots are looking better and better. <laughs> my dog eats cat shit. Looks like he's a cigar in his mouth. You know what? I always thought the moment my dog would eat cat shit, they always look like them little rum log things that you get at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do, actually. Cavity would definitely do Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. To be fair, Caitlyn Jenner looks better than some of the women I've seen. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I actually believe it or uh, you not. Go, you go, Brucey. You do what you got to do. You uh, do you. I'll do me. Uh, if anyone watches, uh, we have uh, my neighbor on. Her name's Ashley, the neighbor. Uh, she's on every once in a while. Uh, she'll probably be on the show again sometime. But she's reading his autobiography. Uh, he's actually a hardcore Republican. Like, oh, yeah. really hardcore. Well, that's, that's not exactly unknown. I know, but the thing is, is that's why it took him so long to come out. Because, you know, back in the day, that was unheard of. Like, he's been like this his whole life. And he was just like, might as well do it now. It's more accepted. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like... <laughs> I, I, uh, I've been saying, uh, you know, the one way we can uh, deal with the Republicans trying to deny climate change, I think if we just tell them that uh, all these gay people around are causing global warming, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, think we'll, I think they'll fund climate science. Yeah, fuck climate science. Here, here, here's the thing. Even if global warming is real, the people it I is. see... The people I see, like the Cash Me Outside girl and other people like her... I don't think I want to leave the planet for anyone. Motherfuckers like her don't deserve it. 
just kill everyone. We don't deserve this fucking planet. I agree with you on that. Everyone is such a piece of fucking the only, shit. The only fucking, <laughs> the only fucking people who deny climate science are the ones that are on the payroll from the fucking energy companies. But, but, but here's the thing. I do believe that humans do affect the way this earth works, but I don't think it's as bad as they say it is. Because if it is, instead of paying money for polluting, you would stop polluting. And it's just, it's just out of control. There's too much money in it. Like Rush Hour. Remember the Rush Hour movie? With Jackie Chan and the other black guy. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chris but, Tucker, you racist <laughs> fuck. Chris Tucker. They all look alike. <laughs> but anyways. What do we have left for the patron only thing? Jesus I don't Christ. Know. But Jackie Chan goes, you always follow the rich white man. It's and true. that's all I see in climate change. I do believe that we're affecting this shit. What we the don't, fuck are you talking we about? Don't, the we, rich white yeah. guys want to want to not deal with climate change because Rush, they make money from Russian it. Russian hour. <laughs> yeah. Russian hour. <laughs> well, that's like when, when they first started talking about global warming and shit, they're like, well, you know, to stop global warming, we're going to have this carbon tax. So if you pollute more, you give more money to it. How does that stop polluting? There's more <laughs> There's more to it. But that's that, the but... basis of it. What I'm saying is. Well, that's like. It doesn't make any that's sense. That's like saying. <laughs> you know, that's like saying the basis of. a uh... Punch Casey in the dick. No, I like my dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wanted to bend you over a table a few minutes ago. I think you missed that in the chat. Oh, okay. But that's like saying aye, 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 aye. that's like saying the basis of a house is a brick. Yeah, maybe so, but it's so much more to it than that. I know, but there's it's too over, much too money. Over, it's too overly simplified. That's like Leonardo DiCaprio. Through Who's making money out of? Yeah, I I don't understand your point like, there. Like, like who the fuck is making money out of? Uh, restricting how much that that's you can why use people fossil are fossil fuel. That's I, why people are pissed because they don't know. Like, nobody. He, that's the point. But That's wh- why it's uh, you can pretty much guess it's true because oh my god I fucking ruined shit <laughs> I broke things I broke things can you all hear us Yeah they can hear us okay Okay we I can't can, I can we hear, can't hear us I can hear us in the headphones Fart tax stop global warming Well good luck going <laughs> after the cows But you know that that's the thing That's the one way that you know that it is true because no one can really make money off it except maybe Elon Musk because that motherfucker could find a way to uh, make dollars out of fucking an oil slick on the road. <laughs> that guy could turn dirty laundry, like like literally fart stained underpants into money. Yeah. Somehow. I just, I don't know. It, it re, re knowing about history and everything like that. I just, I, I just see it too much. I've, I've mentioned this before. I think on the show in the seventies, there was a huge push for global cooling. Um, it was the complete opposite of what they're saying global warming is now. It didn't work, so they abandoned it. Whatever happened to it, we don't know. <laughs> um, okay, Alex, settle all, down. No, just listen. All throughout history, it has been used against civilizations that there is always this mass destruction coming. If you don't do this, a volcano will erupt. If you don't do this, a storm. It's in the Bible with Noah, whatever you want to call it. I just don't believe it. I've seen it used so many times. Oh, my God. When I've... do you get your show on InfoWars? <laughs> I just don't. Do I have a point, though? You got to think about it, though. It, how do you get a mass group of... 9-11 was an inside <laughs> job! How do you get a mass group of people to follow you in something that you really have no proof for? Spray paint yourself orange. You say they're going to die. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Spray you paint yourself this. orange and say, make America great again and put it on a hat? Every president does that. See, and this is <laughs> yeah, why... It's all propaganda. This is why bullshit. no president ever fucking wins that is smart because people a majority of people aren't they smart follow stupid people yeah, because they want to take it out easy way i was talking to my friend cuddle about this his name's cuddle because he plays wow that's his name yeah his real name's not cuddle but people a majority of people are stupid stupid people take the easy way out this is why you have people like trump that their slogan is make america great again george bush administration was innovative <laughs> innovative in how many ways to be a you, retard you have you have osama Whatever the fuck his name is. Bin Laden. <laughs> no, yeah, Obama. I, Obama. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, my um, God. His, you oh. know what? Won, won the fucking vote for him? Change. One word, and he won the fucking election. How are you going to change things? <laughs> <laughs> I deny people are peeing in the pool. Okay, I admit there is pee, but it's naturally occurring. <laughs> you have won the day. Well, you know, Jimmy already beat you to it. You, sir, have runnered up the day. I just, I don't believe it. There's too much money in it. You're so full of shit. Yeah, I pooped earlier, so I'm not. But just oh anything with God. too much money in it, I just. Are you gonna I like get on? Are you gonna like fucking get on? Why is Trump's hair yellow? Please help. <laughs> hair dye. <laughs> hair dye and artificial synthetic fibers. 
But are you gonna like uh, fucking get your new next show on fucking Infowars? You're gonna be spending like but, an but hour and a half streaming at Global. But here's the thing: I'm not talking about oh, there's lizard people that live in the earth. There's people dragons. believe that. Shit. I know, but here's the thing: things I'm saying has happened before. We've been duped before. So when you look into it, what are you losing? Now, say I was standing on my you house. You lose your sanity. No, but but here's the thing: there's no proof that I am wrong. They, they, we could be being bamboozled. We could be. And, well, yeah, and that's the thing. I'm not saying I'm Yeah, right and I right. could be a fucking lizard person. How are you going to know? But it's like with this ice thing mountain now. You fucking worry about it. They, Everybody worries about No, just listen. They, there's three glaciers right now, okay, that were melting over a long period of time. Back before this global warming shit even happened, they were saying that these three huge things were going to break off. They call them A, B, and C, and I can't remember what they call them before the A, B, and C, but A fell off a while ago, B just fell off years ago, and now C's about to fall off. And they're like, C, global warming is exist. It's gonna, f so you're telling me the glacier after B's gonna fall too. How fucking weird. Like, it just makes no sense, man. And like, I just, I seen too many people try to bullshit it. <laughs> I seen this so one, funny. this one scientist come about about how the glaciers are melting and stuff like that. And they show these glaciers melting and the guy, the fucking dumbass forgot to take the date off of it. And it was like in the middle of summer, the glaciers melting in summer. You don't say, <laughs> Oh my <laughs> God. He made a typo. <gasps> oh no. Like, no, he was trying to bamboozle. He took the pictures in summer oh and forgot God. to take the date off of them. I just, I've seen too many. Oh, you mean it's up. melting in summer and yeah, that's not a cause for concern. But anyway, on the chat, somebody said something about ancient aliens. Uh, no, no, actually, I fucking love ancient aliens. I love watching that show uh, for two reasons. The guy who says sky because the glacier it just F falls, me. we're all fucked. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, there's the guy on there who pronounces sky sky, and I find that absolutely hilarious. And second off, if you watch ancient aliens, it always follows the uh, same pattern. The beginning of the show is something semi-plausible. <laughs> you know, maybe some visitors came and did such and such. And, such. and then, uh, then it goes to a commercial break in the middle of the show. And then for the next half hour, it is complete batshit lunacy until the <laughs> end. Know. And you got, you got the guy with the lawyer. He's like, aliens. He's the, most, <laughs> he's the one who makes the most sense out I of him normally. <laughs> uh, I never personally watched it, but you told me that. The guy with the crazy hair that's the meme. He's the most normal one. <laughs> yeah, you said he's the most normal one. He's Everyone else. Giorgio Sukalos is his name. He's the most normal one. The guy who goes, Scoy. That's the one who's nuts. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. No, it starts out. They, they talk about a couple of things that are sort of plausible. Yeah. <laughs> the bug hair is hilarious. Yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, it starts out being sort of plausible. And then towards the end, it just goes completely like screaming at your neighbor's kids. <laughs> Bat shit lunacy. I love it. I, I know, and, and that's the thing. Like, I never really got into ancient aliens and shit like that. But it oh is... my god, just uh, just go on and binge watch it with beer, <laughs> tin foil hats, eat your popcorn out of tin foil, and then put it on. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that's the thing. Like, and it's just funny. You know, we do disagree on the global warming thing. You know, uh, I think we're pretty calm about it. We just like to laugh and stuff. Oh about my it. god, look who, what you attracted. What uh, we got a guy in here called the JFK Legacy. It says Deep State <laughs> killed the JFK. Killed JFK. <laughs> and see, that, that's another thing. Call me a conspiracy thing, but I think something was up with that. It was a little weird. Oh my god, <laughs> it was a little weird. Do you check what? for? Do you check for little men under your bed? But see, that's the thing. When when I when I hear global warming exists. Oh, he From said someone... that. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I got to say this. He goes, I stopped when they say vampires was made by aliens. Dude, that's the shit I love when they go fucking crazy <laughs> see, with see, that. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, that statement right there, vampires, you know, or created aliens or something like that. Okay, that's a conspiracy batshit crazy person. <laughs> when someone comes out and they're like, hey, I have my questions about global warming. I really don't believe you. That's not a conspiracy theorist. That's questioning someone and and that's the thing when i when i first heard al gore come out and say global warming exists and blah 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 i got it that he was a conspiracy theorist because it was so off track and that's what i'm saying and that's how you're going to understand people that question things you you got to think that these people that ask you know what's going on it sounds as crazy to them as it does the opposite for you and that's how you're going to get along is you're going to try to understand each other like that cuz it's Yeah, but you're crazy. my friend and I can tell you when you sound like an <laughs> idiot. So there's that. No, but that's the thing. There's people that, you know, I think people that, you know, believe in global warming, I think are idiots. I just do. There's there's no um 
Well, I think I think all the evidence points to the contrary. No, but see, there is no evidence. There is the no evidence. Is. Where is the evidence that global warming exists? Oh my Where god, we do not have enough time. <laughs> no, show. seriously, show it to me. Because from what I see, I see people bullshitting about the you know uh, the picture where the guy forgot to first take the date off the thing. So you're telling me glaciers are melting in summer? That's so weird. Uh, where there another scientist, uh, someone was interviewing, and he goes, "Well, the whole universe itself is heating up." Everything is melting. The moons of Saturn are made out of ice, and they're melting. And I've talked about this on the show before. You know what the scientist said? This is how dumb he thinks people are. He goes, well, that's because Saturn is closer to the sun than the Earth. And that's what I'm saying. When I catch mistakes like this, I just feel like we're getting bamboozled. We're just being bamboozled. The whole system's heating up right now. It's not just our planet. That's why they call it climate change and not global warming anymore. And, and that's the thing. When someone catches on to something, they change the thing. Planned Parenthood used to be called eugenics, but they realized people you knew what eugenics was, so they changed it to Planned Parenthood. They do it all the time. It's the easiest. It's the it's the longest trick. Alex Jones coming out. I was you. gonna say. <laughs> all right, uh, we need to get going because our show's running long, and Casey's due in the Infowars studio in twenty minutes. So um, yeah, like I said, I'll bring it up again for those of you who are still here. Because uh, <laughs> I noticed people ran like hell for a while. I were down to nine watchers. Ah, whatever. Anyway, uh, yet again, uh, those of you who listen to us on the podcast, sorry we're having technical difficulties with that. I'm working on it. Within the next couple of days, it should be fixed. If uh, you start getting a whole bunch of new episode pings on your things. Oh, I'm about to call in. All right. Hey, we'll take a call quick if you, got, if you can get in here. <laughs> uh, Red NASA debriefing files. I have KGB... Take the point. I'm confused. Yeah, it went away too fast. I couldn't read. I it. am loving this show. If you're not a troll, thank you. <laughs> yeah, please subscribe. Oh, oh we, we do have a call. All right, he's calling in. All right, hello hey. there. Can you hear us? Hello. Hey, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Uh, we're doing great. Uh, are you the JFK guy? Yes, that would be me. Oh, uh, what's up, man? Where are you? Where are you from? Uh, I would not like to answer that. <laughs> I won't stalk you that <laughs> He's much. He's from the sixth dimension. <laughs> uh, he, he doesn't want the aliens to know where he is from. Yeah. No, but let me tell you. You say you say this. You say this stuff like we have no convictions. When when eighty percent of the eighty percent of the American people do not believe the war report, when you have that same amount of people believing that the Vietnam War was a sham, same for Oklahoma City bombings, and mm -hmm. you know we have also Iran Contra, mm -hmm. and Building Seven, and yeah. Waco Texas. So that's bamboozles right there. That's what I'm referring to when I say bamboozles, because we can back this up with evidence. Uh -huh. And that's what I'm saying. I just don't believe anything. Yeah, like, but you know what? The fucking flat earth people have evidence, too. So, you know, <laughs> evidence only goes so far as common sense would allow. So you're saying... Okay, so hang on. Let me ask you something. So do you believe that Lee Harvey Oswald shot candy? Absolutely. I don't believe it. Hang on. Wait. Of course you don't. <laughs> I don't believe this it. With Can we look at this with common sense for a second? <laughs> sure, go right ahead. We're listening. We're listening. Okay, listen to this. So you've just shot the president. What do you do? You hide your gun, you run down six flights of stairs, and you go over and buy a Coke. That's got to be the greatest ad for Coca-Cola in history. Is that what he did? Because I don't know a lot about JFK. Is that exactly what he did? But here's another thing. When they arrested Lee Harvey Oswald at the movie theater, uh -huh. imagine, imagine you're the police dispatcher. The president's been shot, a police officer's been shot a couple miles away about 30 minutes ago. But you get a call that a guy went into the theater without buying a ticket. So what do you do? You send 12 squad cars, 24 cops, and a news media to arrest a guy who did not buy a ticket. <laughs> that's true. That's what I don't believe. There's just too much. And see, that's the thing. Like, I... I I say if you're wrong, you know, nothing really happens, but why not look into stuff like this? I don't cuz I heard stuff about how um he shot uh JFK how many times? Wasn't it numerous times he shot him? It's, they said it they said it was two once. times. However, that's that's been debunked because the magic bullet theory does not exist. It's it, it's 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 fictionary. Yeah, cuz I heard that oh, something about boy. they shot him a bunch of times or something like that, but the the rifle that he supposedly used is known for jamming. <laughs> like you know what? Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing right here. Jed Keller sounds like Jonathan Winter. Yes, he does. Here's the thing. Uh, uh, 
the, the thing that debunks all this is because you give the government way too much fucking credit. They are not that fucking smart. If they were, they'd be a lot further along than what they are. <laughs> all right, we got we got to we got to kill the show here. We got to get going. We're running way way over time. Uh, thanks for calling. Thanks for in. calling in, though, man. Have a good one. Thanks for calling in. Uh, we appreciate you. Later about this. We're gonna have to talk about this later. Well, we will be on. It's good. No, we'll be on. We're every Tuesday. Every right. Tuesday at eight o'clock. You can give us another call, man. All right. Yeah, all right. I'll give you a call. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh yeah, yeah. There, there we. <laughs> Woo! I get no. See, that's the thing. I get where that caller was oh, coming. I'll from. give you a call. <laughs> I get where that. <laughs> I get where that caller is coming from. Like it's just a lot of it doesn't make sense. Jay, this, see, this is why we don't talk about. I me have a Jay. life. I have better things to worry about. Me the Jay. fucking government can't even manage to figure out what a fucking health care bill should look like right now. And you mean to tell me that they <laughs> fucking orchestrate a guy the moon landing? They could orchestrate the goddamn uh, whatever. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next week. Remember, catch us uh, catch us on iTunes, Google Play, uh, YouTube, Twitter, Google Plus, and wherever the fuck else. See y'all next See week. See you. Have a good one. Bye bye. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. <laughs>